What is going on Adventure Nation? In this episode we do a lot of traveling from Sequoia to Fresno to Mariposa to Yosemite. This is the Motorhome Experiment. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We are rolling out of our incredible boondocking spot here in the Sequoia National Forest. I will say sadly rolling out because if we could, we will stay longer. See, here's one of the things about planning ahead. We've already booked sites up, grounds, up yeah. the road because we knew it was gonna be a busier area, but now that means we have to leave this spot and if we hadn't have booked those, we would have stayed. This was, if not the most beautiful, probably the top two or three most beautiful places we've ever boondocked. Mm -hmm. Dry camped, whatever you want to call it. This was a, uh, an area in the Sequoia National Forest. So there's the Sequoia National Park here, there's Kings Canyon National Park, and then there's the Sequoia National Forest all in the same area. In the National Forest, you're allowed to camp off of the forest roads and any of the overlooks or anything that doesn't say that you can't camp there, correct? Yes. The National Park and Kings Canyon Park, they have campgrounds there. Not allowed somewhere else, just campgrounds in the National Park. In the National Park. We looked at another spot and then by mistake found this one. Not by mistake, but it was our second or third choice. Yeah, you guys saw. It's like the other place where we went, it was close uh, because right now they're having a lot of trees to take down. So they're close. A lot of campgrounds are not even open. So we were forced to choose something else to go to. And we found this. It's around right next to the 10 mile campground. And oh my God, I think it was actually a blessing in disguise because it's like you want to be in such a great spot to explore both national parks from that same spot. Yeah, you can see right there we're passing by the 10 mile campground. We were that close to this. Yeah, you pay to stay here and this is dry camping. Yes. And where we stayed was free. We stayed five nights and it was perfect. It was about an hour to Sequoia National Park to the main part of the visitor center and the giant forest museum and stuff. And it was about an hour to the Kings Canyon Visitor Center, Roads End, and that's the Cedar Grove on that side. So it wound up being right in the middle. It was 20 to 30 minutes from Grant Grove. Just an absolute perfect oh, spot. Oh, Lake that you guys said is like an old town with a huge lake and all that stuff. We are what, like 10 minutes from there? Yeah, 10 minutes from Hume Lake or so. And they have a store, well stuff store, so you do something, you can get it there. So it was just told great day, unexpected great day. Today we're heading into Fresno, see an old friend of mine. Oh my God, it's gonna be 100 degrees down there. It, I hear 75, maybe it's down there, it's gonna be 100. Gonna be a little warm down there, a little oppressive. And uh, I'm not gonna shoot too much going down the hill unless we see something cool, because we shot that on the way up. So we'll uh, see you guys in Fresno. We're staying at the Fresno Mobile Home Park, Mobile Home and RV Park. So, it's a little bit tight. Gentleman in front of us allowed me to come in through the outdoor because he said it would be easier, which I agree. Backing into the spot we're gonna be in will be a little bit easier. We have made it down the hill from Sequoia National Park. 
Oh my God, it's so hot here in Fresno. Such a huge difference. We left the comfort of the 75 degrees to 80 to come into 100 degree weather. Luckily, yeah. this campground has a lot of shade. It does have a lot of shade. We're parked in the shade, but just hooking up the water and electric, I broke a sweat. It's crazy. <laughs> And luckily they have a spot too, Ooh. because the other campgrounds in the area has no shade whatsoever. So yeah, I, I don't know if they have any other spots. When we first walked up, I didn't think we'd have anything, but we're in, we're here one night at least, and then we're gonna head up to the Yosemite area, which will be very cool. Gonna meet an old friend of mine here, Rod Davison, so that'll be, that'll be fun. So this little Fresno mobile home and RV park, tiny little place, really well-maintained though. Sam there in the office was super nice, so that was cool. And uh, we're gonna enjoy one night here at least. Maybe two, we don't know. I think probably just one night. Probably one. We don't know if we can stay here for two, actually. <laughs> Good morning, Lorena. Good morning. Rolling out of the Fresno Mobile Home and RV Park. I'll tell you what, not a fancy park at all. Extremely tight, but all, just immaculately kept. For me, the best thing of all, we had shade. In 100 degree weather, that's the one thing you want in your beach shade. <laughs> so that was a big plus of this park. And it seemed to me like almost all the sites were shaded. So. Yeah. The, uh, right. I don't know if the guy we met, Sam, if he's the manager or owner or what, but he does a great job. He's one of those guys that doesn't seem to have anything written down, but he just knows where everything is. He, like, do you have a spot um, in his head? Yep, I got one here. Takes you over, drops you in the spot. It was it was awesome. It was really a, a, a great stay here in Fresno. So if you're ever in the Fresno area, stop by and say hello. But uh, really well groomed, like everything was really well kept and uh, just mowed and the spaces were nice. So that's, that's all you can ask for. Pretty cool. But now we head on up the road to the Yosemite area. We're gonna do one quick overnight before we get to the park. Good morning, everybody. We are in Mariposa, California. <laughs> we stayed overnight at the Mariposa Fairgrounds. Great little spot for an overnight. It has different lots, so I think this is a better one because it's all grassy. You're literally parking on the grass. Uh, the other ones are paved campgrounds, so paved just parking lots. Right. So this is pretty, though. You get to, you know, we walked around last night up here in the uh, in the fairgrounds area. They have the K California State Mining and Mineral Museum. And you can walk up through the, the fairgrounds stuff and check out the, you know, what's, uh, I'm assuming they use as horse and cow corrals you and things. You can literally walk anywhere and everywhere at your leisure. Everything is open and everything is empty. So it's kind of cool, kind of weird. Yep. Last night there was quite a few rigs in here. They've almost all left except for the ones that look like they're pretty, pretty much full time. But you just kind of line up along the grassy areas. These ones down here, going to be really hard to get level. So we stayed up in this area. Uh, you can see these guys here are in a more level spot. We just literally came around and then just backed everything into the fence. And yes, you can see the cars on the dolly and we backed everything up to the fence. Yeah, this campground is full ho hookups and it was $45 a night. Full hookups, but doesn't, it doesn't have sewer. It does. Oh, it does have sewer yeah, too? It's full hookups. $45 oh, I did not know that. A night and uh, I think it's a little pricey for the area, but I think they're catching all the people going into or coming out from yeah, Yosemite. Yeah, super close to Yosemite, which is where we're going up in today. We're heading up into the Yosemite Lakes Thousand Trails yes. for the next week. So let's get rolling. Let's go. As we roll out of here too, I just want to mention that they, they have showers here and uh, the restrooms, the showers and stuff, they're old, but they're clean. And uh, if you're needing to conserve tanks or if you're a tenter, they have a tenting area. So they have a lot of options here. It's a great quick stop for uh, Yosemite. It's probably a great stop for a few nights and explore this area. The little town looks kind of cute. Yes. 
itself check in so you can get here at whatever yeah. time you want and seems to have like a lot of spots so i don't think there will be an issue if you don't have a reservation this is the perfect campground this is the campground we need laurie what? one that one that doesn't require anybody here to do anything they just you just self check in you go find a spot to park we literally never saw anybody from the yeah. Mariposa Fairgrounds. But if you have many people, how many RVs yesterday were parked taking two spots? We don't know how many. Well, we know there was a few RVs taking two spots, but there was plenty available. But we don't know how many RVs actually paid. So that would be interesting to know how many people just kind of stopped in and hoped that nobody would say anything. Because there looked like a little bit of that going on as well. But that's where you just need somebody that just kind of drives through the park and checks the paper that you're supposed to have on your front window. But off to Yosemite. Lorena has never been to Yosemite before, so the next few days are going to be pretty cool. To Yosemite there's a little spot here or a couple little spots where there's construction the road's been washed out they have seen so much rain this year uh, more than they've seen in I don't know how long but it is evident in the in the rivers in the lakes everywhere down here water everywhere That's so yeah which is a good thing for California because they've been in such a, an nice enormous drought. drought for so long so we're just hanging out with the pilot guy cruising down the hill a lot of switchbacks anyway so it's not like you can go very fast we're on 49 by the way and we are on highway 49 heading up towards yosemite yes Yosemite Lakes Thousand Trails just got checked in. I'm gonna go pick up a site and then we're gonna hang out for a week. So this should be good. And it looks like we've got a high keyboard, so we should be able to get it. What is the uh, 4839? 4839. And that guy is in the middle. I'm sure he doesn't know what again. We rolled down and found a spot near the river, but the spaces down there were just a little too close together for our liking, so we found another spot and then went out to explore the campground. We arrived earlier today at the Yosemite Lakes Thousand Trails, and we're gonna be here for a week, and I've got a lot of work to do, so tonight we're going to see Bambi. <laughs> Perfect place though. There is no connectivity, so it's not like we can get distracted. Yeah, it's a Disney classic. I have to go see it. I can edit later. Yes. So, off we go. Oh, we can just sit at picnic tables. I don't know what to say, Lori. There wasn't a whole lot going on in that one. I love traveling. Yeah. Well, I can say that the heat from Sequoia down into Fresno was pretty brutal. And it was nice that we had a, a spot with some shade. 
definitely. I mean, it's like that campground when we saw it, it was a mobile. Like, there's not that many options in yeah. Fresno, really. And we saw it was a mobile home park, and we're like, eh, let's check it out. It's like, we're all about the shade, but it worked out. Yeah, well, it's, it's not exactly the most popular uh, tourist destination, Fresno, but I did get to see my buddy Rod, which was really cool. Heading up to Mariposa, quick overnight there at the fairgrounds. That was kind of a cool stay. I think got to check out the town. It seemed to be very cute when we drove by it, but we didn't get to yeah, check it Yeah, I would have liked to maybe have spent a little bit of time there. And then, of course, we arrived at Yosemite Lakes, which is just outside of the Yosemite National Park. So in the next episode, we'll get out and explore some of Yosemite. But this is where we're gonna end this one. So if this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you hung out with us a little bit, got to know us, and that means they have to. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, and it would be equally as cool if you liked the video, and we'll see you again next time. Bye guys. And we'd like to thank all of our Patreons for signing up over there. You guys have been absolutely amazing. So thanks for that. And Ozzy is typical screaming, trying to get out. And the sun is He's in my He's trying eyes, to get so. some camera time. Yeah, he wants some <laughs> camera time too. I don't know if you can barely see him there in the, in the Probably door. Probably not. What's up, buddy? <laughs>